Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. And so as promised, I am back with a, a new tutorial showing you how to speed up your renders in DAR Studio. So some of you, and a number of you have sent in requests. And also, so when I shared this video a few days, uh, I think it was a few days ago. Uh, let me play this so you can see. So a number of you asked me, you know, how were you able to get, you know, clean renders like this in DAS Studio? And how long does it take you to render? And this IRA, you know, did you use another renderer outside? So the question, the, to answer the question is that, yes, this is IRA. And I rendered this inside of uh, DAS Studio. So I'm going to walk you through how I was able to do this. So the first thing that you do is make sure you first turn on NVIDIA IRA. And this one, will, before you do the final render, make sure you turn it off so that the system is working without it in the viewport here enabled. So that's the first thing we're going to do is enable NVIDIA. It might take a few seconds or a few minutes depending on how fast your machine is. And at the bottom down here on the status bar, you'll be able to see the progress of what's happening. And uh, Give it time so that it can go through the process. And it could be that, uh, you know, for those of you who have had experiences where it does takes a long time to render, that this is what you notice. Sometimes it hangs and sometimes it does, you know, certain things. But uh, you have to go through the process and you have to give it a chance to process whatever it's doing in the back background. And then when it's ready, it's going to show the render in the viewport with a real time display. So as you can tell, you can see the noise on the glass, for example. And for the video that I rendered on this one, so I, I removed the helmet because it was protruding inside the glass for this specific mock-up file. So in some cases, it might actually be, it might take less time to render because of uh, there's no calculation with a with a glass. So for here, I'm just gonna add the glass and the calculation so you get a better sense of how long this uh, takes to render okay so and it's still processing because we the, right now if you go to the progressive render the number that is set is by default is 5000 samples that is going to take a long time and if you are a DAS studio user and this is what you're using by default and you're waiting for it to complete it's going to take a long time so make sure you adjust this setting and the one that i use is usually i set it to five uh, to between 100 samples and 300 samples 300 on the higher end when i want to to get more detail in the face and when i need to do like a quick preview i can even set it to 50 samples so that i can see uh what the uh, the end animation is gonna be because you don't want to do the final render and then turns out that the the frames that are not working properly in in the animation so always just uh, take it to maybe like five to ten samples here and then change it to the higher number that you want to use for the final render and so the key again is under the the filtering this is what is helping me speed up uh, the renders that you see so the first thing that I do is I make sure I turn on turn on post denoiser available okay so it will come on and make sure I also enable post denoiser enabled here and you can see already it's working so right now it's processing the uh, denoiser is working in tandem with the detailing so as I, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so as the denoiser is working you can see how it's kick uh, it's gonna kick in right now so it has kicked in and if you watch the screen you can see the details starting to appear and the more samples you give it the more detail that you're gonna get so right now uh, if we go to Feel, uh, rather go back to progressive rendering we have it at 5000 so it's going to take a long time to render if you leave it, leave it at that so i'm going to put it at 100 press enter and we're going to give it a chance to refresh and so the, it has kicked in but you know you notice the noise is already gone so it's much closer already to the detail that you see 
in here. So that's how I was able to get the smooth renders that you see in DAS Studio because I've enabled the, first of all, I've, I've put the samples to 100 and under filtering, I've enabled post denoiser available and also post denoiser enabled. So those two have to be checked. And another uh, uh, rather item that you have to take into consideration is what size that you're rendering at. So I'm using uh, out, not, not Ultra HD, I'm using Full HD 1080. And whenever you change these settings, by the way, make sure that you also re-enter the name of the file because if you're going to do an image series, you need to give it a file. And I've already set a folder where it's going to go. So I'm just going to do space. Uh, we'll just do space for now. I usually add an underscore to give the, that separation between the numbers and the file name and then press enter. So that's where the file is going to be saved. And it's going to be rendering at uh, uh, full HD 1080p and also under the render mode I have it at photo real. It's important to do that and under the progressive render the samples maximum samples is 100. So wait, let's set to 100 and see how long each frame takes to render. So I've done tests in the past but I wanted you to see in real time how long that takes. Okay so clearly this is not how I'm going to render. So I usually have another camera that I've enabled. This is the final uh, frame that is framed properly for my final animation. And what I do is I tend not to include the environment in here because it's much faster for me to composite uh, once these uh, frames are rendered as PNG sequences that have an alpha channel on them. So what you see in this scene is this is rendered alone the environment is rendered separately as well and then composited in after effects that's how you're able to get something as fast first of all it's going to render much quicker when it's the character separated from the environment that is a, a well-known approach <laughs> in the filmmaking world and so if you're making a short film that is an approach that you could take and be able to still get really nice crisp renders so let's press render let me just go through real quick uh the environment I've, the draw DOM is off because I don't want it to render the environment. I want to, to get that alpha channel. And so this this part is pretty much set. The environment is set as, as it, it should be. And then under tone mapping, I mean, you can adjust the exposure here if you want. Uh, this is like a color grading before you get to After Effects or whatever, you know, post-production post environment that you use. In filtering, I uh, make sure that uh, denoiser, post denoiser is enabled, and that post denoiser is available and enabled. Okay. And optimization, this one I don't touch really for now. And alpha, that one I don't touch. Uh, for progressive render, I've again, maximum samples is set to 100. Some people use the seconds. I prefer to use the maximum samples because then I know exactly where it's going to stop. And everything else stays the same. And under render mode, photo real, and then under general, I've picked H no full HD, 1080p, uh, 16 by 9. Okay, and it's 1920 by 1080. And make sure that you select image series, and then put the number of frames that you want to render. For now, I'm just gonna leave it like that so that we can see how long it takes. Okay, all right, guys. So for you who have been struggling with the uh, Daz Studio and rendering, I think. You're about to see what the value of these settings adjusted and you're going to see how fast it takes. So we're going to press render. And so whatever happens beyond this, and it might hang a little bit, you know, sometimes it might say not responding, but be, be patient because once it starts, then you'll be able to see the results. And this folder right here is what we're going to be monitoring to see how fast, you know, the files are coming in, the frames are coming in. Okay. So let's go ahead and press render. And I also have uh, CPU and my two GPUs enabled. So what you're gonna, what you're seeing is that the computer is using my two graphics cards. In this machine that I'm working on right now, uh, it's, it has a, a 1070 GTX 1070 and an RTX 2070. So those are the two graphics cards that I'm using in on this machine. I have another machine that I use specifically for rendering that has two 2080 eyes. 
in that one the, the renders are much quicker for sure so we're gonna see here so if you have a single gpu these render times might be different because you're only using one gpu card but if you have multiple gpus you're gonna also reduce that uh, render time depending on the type of graphics card that you have but clearly you can see that so it's been 48 seconds so far and it's already rendering frame two so right now at least we have an idea that uh, let's go to this folder and monitor it so already it has rendered two frames uh, this is a 1080 and uh, so one frame was rendered at 51, 1251 this one is 1252 1252 so that means I'm getting at least two frames per minute and that will translate to 30 seconds per frame okay so and that's how you speed it up because if in the past you had 5,000 samples and that's you never touched those render settings over here that could be the problem is why your renders are taking so long so right now it actually I have three frames uh, rendered in one minute so 52 52 52 I have one two and three rendered I want to see how far it goes down and again depending on how close you are depending on how close the character is to the camera that will uh, that will uh, kind of affect the amount of time that it takes to render because when the glass is so close to you and it's fill up, filling up the entire space that's going to be require more calculations for for example for the refractions reflections and all those things that uh, you may have in the in this environment so for now because it's an hdr image it's uh it's not taking so long because i don't have anything else enabled in the scene so guys that's how you speed up your renders in da studio using iray and as you can see here we're getting at least uh, three frames to two frames per minute which is averages out to about uh, 30 frames per second to about 25 25 to 30 seconds per frame 25 to 35 seconds per frame 25 to 30 seconds per frame yes so again depending on your machine but for my setup that was that's what i was about to get so i'm hoping that this helps you and that is how i was able to get this out so please take a minute to uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, click that notification bell so you may be alerted when i post a new video and thank you so much to everyone that has uh, subscribed for all the comments and the feedback uh please keep asking uh for if you have questions as if you have suggestions of uh, tutorials you'd, you'd like to see me do uh, i'm gonna always do my best to encourage you to dare to dream big and also to pursue that uh, storytelling dream of yours and i'm i'm on a quest to tell my story and my stories and also to create short films because I, I, it's so much fun <laughs> to be able to get those ideas out of your brain and onto the screen but uh, it's always been a, a pain rendering things on the computers so it's good actually to see that uh, this free program can actually render some reasonable you know frames and uh, videos that then you can com uh, transform into a short film thank you so much and i'll see you next time Bye-bye.